Welcome to Game of Her Own Sunday Pep Talks. Uh, we do things a little different on Sundays for the month of May. Uh, we are celebrating my birthday month and we are celebrating Game of Her Own's birthday month. So Game of Her Own turns one on May 21st. I've been so excited to bring you all this free resource to help empower you as you go after exactly what you want in your career. It's not easy to do. I've been there. I get it and I wanted to create this resource to help you. It's been a year of doing it and it's been an honor and so much fun. So today, really quick, we're gonna have a pep talk. These are five minute pep talks. And today I'm going to talk about being your authentic self. How do you show up as your authentic self at work? I know sometimes it's hard for people to do that. Sometimes people feel nervous and scared. Like, what if they don't like me? Well, if you're showing up as somebody else, I guess they already don't like you. You like that person that you're pretending to be. And we pretend to be somebody else for a ton of reasons. I mean, hey, I have been there. I remember when I you know, first started and all I wanted to do was be an executive in sports. And so I would look to other executives in sports which there were not very many that looked like me. Wait, let me say that differently. There were none when I first started. I didn't know of anyone who looked like me that was an executive in sports. There were no black women and things were, <laughs> I don't want to date myself, but things were a little different, right? No one was branding themselves on LinkedIn or Instagram. Facebook was kind of weird. I think you had like a college email address to get on it. Whatever the case may be, things were a little bit different in terms of visibility. So I was limited to what I can see. And what I could see were a lot of white men who there was nothing wrong with white men. My father-in-law is one and my husband's one, right? But that's what I saw. And I thought, okay, I had to be like them in order to get to that spot. I had to act like them, talk like them to get to where I wanted to be. And let me tell you all, that is not true, right? That's not the case. First of all, when you do that, it's exhausting. You know that feeling when you are not being your authentic self. It's frustrating, right? Because you, you're showing up as one way, but you really want to show up in another way. But it's kind of scary. I'm be the first to tell you and give you permission to show up as yourself. Again, it's that fear of what if they don't like me? Well, you know what? What is worse? That feeling of regret later when you never showed up as yourself, that feeling of exhaustion from being somebody you're not. You want to show up as yourself. I give you the permission to do it. You don't have to go at it alone though. So start, just start. I remember when I was like, I am done. <laughs> this is exhausting. At some point, like I just was, I was kind of fed up and I just remember just sort of, you know, like if that's how I have to be, then I want to be that way. <laughs> I don't want to talk like them. I don't want to act like them. You know what I found? It wasn't really getting me anywhere anyway. When I found the most success is when I just showed up as myself. And let me tell you, if this is something that you struggle with and you're going, you're sitting here going, yeah, you know what? I'm done tomorrow. I'm going to, I'm going to show up as myself. Or maybe I'm just going to slowly start to show up and, and stop acting like somebody else at work. It takes time because sometimes you revert back, right? Fear kind of gets in the way. I don't know about you, but when I'm exhausted, I revert back to things that are comfortable and that I know, and it's just habit. I don't even realize I'm doing it. So that's okay. So it's going to take time, but I'm telling you that feeling that you have when you do show up as yourself and you have success and you realize you find your flow easier. You come up with better ideas when you are your authentic self. People start to gravitate towards you when you're your authentic self. That is so like, you'll, you'll see it happen. And for those of you who are your authentic self and are listening to this, this is a good episode to share with somebody who struggles with it. But you know that, right? You start to, people start to gravitate towards you when you like own who you are and show up every single day and never never apologize for it. There's no need. Why would you apologize for it? You do you, right? And then you'll see that other people start to respect you and want you to come into their meetings, want you to be a part of their initiatives, want to hear the things that you have to say uh, because they're different and they're unique. And I keep saying that. I said in the last couple of pep talks, your differences, your unique perspective is so important. It's your organization needs to hear them. And so showing up as yourself and 
using your voice every single day is so important. Make sure you don't go at it alone. As you start to do this and as you start to feel the courage to do it every single day, every single moment, make sure you talk to somebody else as you're going through it. Careful of the stories you make up about how people are reacting to what you do. Don't let fear take over and tell you some story that you just made up and it's easy to grasp onto those things and not let go and obsess over those. So let that go. Just make sure you talk about it. Talk about how a meeting went, how you said something and spoke up and showed up as you, and it felt great, but also kind of scary, right? Make sure you have those conversations with somebody. Uh, Don't let that all sort of stay within you and then build up. When you do that, it's easier to convince yourself to go back to the old ways of being how everybody else is and conforming to the organization and the leadership and, and doing what they do to make everybody else feel comfortable. Don't do that. We're not doing that anymore. Okay. Go out, be you, show up as you every single day, every single minute. And if you need support beyond your you know, friend group, your personal board of advisors, um, as people like to say, whatever it is, if you need help beyond that, I'm here for it. You can always send me a message um, on Instagram, LinkedIn. You can email me. Although I will tell you if you're listening to this and you have emailed me and I have not emailed you back, I have read it. I promise. And I'm coming. I will respond soon. But DMs and on LinkedIn and on Instagram are a little easier to do respond to quicker. Uh, But send me a message. Uh, I'll put some links in the show notes. So if you want to chat uh, or you want to see, hey, you know what? I want to do this, but I need some support. I need to come up with a strategy. I want coaching support. I'm here for it. I'll put a link in the show notes and you can set up a time, a pressure-free, judgment-free call where we can talk and see if it's the right fit for us to work together. I love those calls. Either way, uh, people leave with clarity, whether we work together or not. You leave with a little bit of clarity and I love meeting new people. All right, my friends, it is Sunday. If you're listening to this when it first comes out, go out and crush your week. I look forward to hearing from you on any of the platforms. I look forward to hearing from you.